Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Amplified says hidden and fenced in things, right? Yes, it does. Right. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 33, 3. Uh, I'm Gerald Canuck. This is Great and Mighty Things, and I'm the uh, third co-host. <laughs> <laughs> to the right is uh, Bob Butler, who's the original host, and to my far right is Kendall Hetrick, the second host. I got drafted in, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here. Uh, we've been discussing uh, so many things here. <laughs> we kind of lose track, but we're talking about intimacy, intimacy with the Godhead. That's the main topic. That's the main topic, but there's a lot of things involved within that. Always, and always, uh, always. we we stopped at uh, last program at uh, Romans 1, 3, and 4, uh, talking about the uh, resurrection from the dead uh, according to the spirit of holiness. Now I'm going to have Kendall read that out of the Amplified because that's really a eye opener. The gospel regarding his son, who as to the flesh, his human nature, was descended from David, and as to his divine nature, according to the spirit of holiness, was openly designated the Son of God in power, in a striking, triumphant, and miraculous manner, by his <laughs> resurrection from the dead, even Jesus Christ our Lord, the Messiah, the Anointed One. <laughs> Amen. Boy, that says it. <laughs> that, that's it, isn't it? Triumph. Woo, wow. In the natural, he was the son of David, but yeah. in the in the as on on his father's side. Yes, that's right. That's <laughs> on right. His father's that's side. right. Spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead. Amen. Woo. Glory. In Glory. A decisive, triumphant, miraculous manner. I yeah. just had three rabbits run by. You <laughs> yeah. see that? Oh, yeah. No, but I'm sure they're there. <laughs> Our director's back. She'll these yeah, guys out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh golly. <laughs> well, any of that you want to um, highlight some more or again, uh, because the people out there will uh, get get your VCR, however you're copying these programs and copy them, yeah. because uh, there's so much good stuff here. You're not going to get it and just sit and watch this mm -hmm. once. You need to play it back to yourself and, and glean everything out of this series, because this series is probably, I shouldn't say probably, <laughs> it is the most important part of being a mm -hmm. Christian, is your intimacy with your Father God mm -hmm. in heaven. Jesus and the Holy Ghost, uh, none left out because uh, we dwell mm -hmm. on Jesus a lot because he was the one that made a human flesh and, and we can relate to him uh, in a greater way probably than we can spirit beings. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Native Americans say you white people aren't spiritual at all. Well, uh, they're more spiritual, but we're not mm -hmm. void of that. And we become mm -hmm. born again Christians. That spirit side of us becomes mm -hmm. more prevalent mm -hmm. than it ever did before Amen. we made Jesus Lord of Amen. our life. And like Kendall has said many times, don't just make him Savior. Don't stop there. Amen. Let him, Amen. encourage him to be your Lord. Yes. And you have to part to play in that also. Mm -hmm. Yes, be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. That's right. <laughs> the, the only thing I would add is, that, is something that you had maybe had talked about before, but without the resurrection of, of Jesus Christ, we would not have the intimacy that we have available to us now through that resurrection. He'd had to done it another way. Yeah, because of the holiness. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when he refers to uh, John fourteen six, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and all those things blend right in. He is the way. It's the only way. Mm -hmm. He is the truth. Mm -hmm. He is the word of God. Mm -hmm. the truth. Absolute truth. You know, and he is he's life. Yep. You know, everything about him is life now. Because the word is life and he's yeah. the word. Yeah. Uh, and when you just brought there. in John 14, 6, which is on the next step what we were going to find. <laughs> now, is there anything else here before we move on to? Oh, boy. See, this power of God, for, uh, resurrection power of, of God for Jesus. That's that same power. It's our resurrection, too. Exactly. <laughs> you said it. His resurrection that's, is our resurrection. That's, that's where I was leading. <laughs> Amen. Uh, didn't mean I was to steal that from you, but I was you, you didn't. Thing. You didn't. That's right. <laughs> What's that one? Galatians two twenty. Uh, I've, I've been, been crucified, crucified with Christ, but yet I live, but yeah. not I, but Christ liveth in me. The hope, in the life yep. which I now live in the flesh, I live by, by the, the faith, faith of the Son of God, God who loved, loved me and gave Himself, himself for me. And that goes right. <laughs> it goes right. That's that power. It goes right. Do it. <laughs> Oh, I mean, no matter how you do it, it just folds it together. Just, it folds together. <laughs> Holy Ghost is all over me right now. You yeah, that's together. good. <laughs> let, let, let me jump over real quick to, to, to Romans 6, since we're right there in Romans. Ooh, my um, 
Romans 6, well, the, the, the whole thing there, but the fourth verse especially is one. Mm, uh, yes. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism unto death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead yes. by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in, in newness, newness of life. life. <laughs> that's, I thought that, that's where you're going. That's that intimacy. That, <laughs> that's that right. New, we, we should have a new way of walking, a new way of talking. We should not be the same way. Uh, d different people here lately have talked about somebody, and they'd say, well, say, well, so and so and so and so, and he's done this and this, and said, uh, said, I said, he's supposed to be a Christian, and I just, I kind of stand there a little bit, and <coughs> yeah. I said, I tell you what, he ain't got what I got. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's a new and living way, yeah. walking in it. That's right. what the scripture says. Uh, the, 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 yeah. You know. Praise uh, God, that's he, good. He may be a Christian, I, I don't yeah. know, but, but he ain't got what I got, because what I got changed my life. Yeah. I mean, I was riding motorcycles, doing drugs, smoking, yeah. and drink, you know, what? Well, we said if, if it'd burn, we'd smoke it, and if, if it'd pour, we'd drink it. Yeah. And uh, and and we swallowed some little round things that we probably shouldn't have too. But when I got saved, it changed. I changed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The cigarettes went. The, the, yeah. it, it all changed. Verse five. Read verse five. <laughs> Read verse five. Read verse five. Oh yeah, okay. that's good. <clears throat> For if we have been planted together in the likeness of His death. We shall also be in the likeness of his <laughs> resurrection. You can't stop there, reading. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with That's him, right. that the body of sin might be destroyed, yes. that henceforth we should not serve sin. I'm reading it out of the Amplified. That Amplified. goes right back to Galatians 2.20. That's okay. right. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry says get read it out, out of the Amplified. Jerry you got to read that. Amplified. That's so, good. So here we go. <laughs> Remember, we're talking about intimacy with the Godhead. That's right. <laughs> Amplified Bible, the sixth chapter of Romans. No, five. Verse five. Sixth chapter. So. Okay. But but the, the fifth verse. Let me let me go ahead and back up to end four. four. Yeah, good. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death. Yes. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, mm. we too might habitually live. Yes. and behave in newness of life. For if we have become one with him by sharing a death like his, we shall also be one with him in sharing his resurrection yes. by a new life lived for God. Yes. We know that our old unrenewed self was nailed to the cross with him in order that Jesus. our body, which is the instrument of sin, might be made ineffective and inactive for evil, that yes. we might no longer be Slaves of sin. Yes, hallelujah. No longer a slave. No Thank longer you, a slave. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Well, that ties right back into the, one of the subjects we talked about several, well, time flies are having fun. Yeah. Spirit, soul, and body mm -hmm. is so important to yeah. this. Uh, well, everything we've talked about in times past is relevant to this. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh, what did God say about <clears throat> revelation, knowledge of his truth? Everything. Mm -hmm. It's Very all. Uh, <laughs> he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. and, and God told me one time, he says, I'm the beginning and the end, and I'm everything in between. Yeah. Uh, that's right. He's the author and finisher of our faith. Author and finisher so of that's the, the beginning and the end. The beginning and the end. <laughs> yes. Everything in between. Everything in between. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We just did this. I got a note here, but uh, well, we're not there yet. Uh, I am the way, the truth, no man comes to the Father but by me. The only way you can do this is to be born again. Mm -hmm. right. The only way you can enter this covenant that God mm -hmm. created for us to restore the intimacy with Him is to be born again or accept Jesus, another way of saying it, accept Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior and Lord yes. and, and make him Lord. Don't just yes. stop with Savior. He's got to be Lord. He's, He's got, got to be Lord. To be Lord. Be. And, and that's the only way you will develop an intimacy right. in your life with the mm -hmm. Godhead. That's right. Starting out with Jesus. Because <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is the human part of Godhead for us to, to connect to easily. Mm -hmm. Not only, I said easily, mm -hmm. because we can relate to Jesus. Jesus mm -hmm. walked on this earth as a human being, the same That's as right. we're walking. Right. He still had to eat and sleep and do all the things in the natural that we do uh -huh. to live in this flesh body mm -hmm. we're in. But it goes far beyond that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the reason <coughs> for talking about this intimacy mm -hmm. thing. Uh, <laughs> <whew>. Glory. <laughs> Why don't you lead somebody 
that's watching us right now that's saying, oh, you guys are nuts. But yeah, we're <laughs> nuts for Jesus. Uh, lead them through the salvation prayer. And when you do this, call somebody that you know is a Christian and tell them what, you, what you're what you going to do, what you just did. Because he's going to, Kendall likes to do it. He's an evangelist at heart. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's been on the streets. He's He's seen it all, done it all. And the best guy to witness to you is a guy that's been there. Yep. I've always yep. said that. The best the best guy to mm-hmm. set a drug addict free is a guy that's been set free mm-hmm. from it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never been blessed that way, thank God. No, me neither. <laughs> it's not a blessing. Yeah. I, I've prayed for a lot of them. But <laughs> yeah, well, I have too, but uh, it, okay. Go okay. for it. Uh, just pray with me. Heavenly Father, I thank Heavenly you that Father, you sent Jesus. I thank you you sent Jesus. To pay the penalty for my sin. Pay the penalty for my sin. I, I, I want to change. I want to change. I want to live this new life that they're talking about. I want to live this new life yes. they're talking about. So, Father, so Father I repent of my I sin. I repent of sin. I ask you to come into you my you life by your spirit. Into my life by your spirit. spirit. And I thank you for thank that. You. I thank you for that. Now, Father, Father, when you show me something to do in the future, show me something I'll, I'll listen to you. I'll read your word, and, read your word, and I'll believe what it says. And I'll, what it says. And I'll find a place where people believe your word, and I'll hook up with them so that I can grow. And I thank you for that, Father, in thank you Jesus, name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. There again, I would encourage you. At the end of the program, if you don't know whether the good church is preaching the word, at the end of the program, the credits are there. Uh, you can get a hold of us and get in contact with us, and we'll get you hooked up with somebody that that'll help you grow and and uh, that'll that'll preach the word to you. Mm-hmm. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new, new creature. creature. New creature. Right. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Amen. I, I, I'm going to throw something out here that may shake up some people, but uh, nevertheless, this this scripture right here says, he is a new creature. You were created a spirit being <coughs> by God in heaven before you ever made it to this earth. Yeah. Now, when you got here as a new creation, as a new creature, you fell into the sin nature that Adam and Eve created for us to live in before we accepted Jesus. Mm-hmm. You did that. So that creature you were then was separated from God. You did not have an intimacy with God. But when you accepted, you went through that sinner's prayer and you accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord, it says here, you have become a new creature, not a new creation. You were created once. And you spend that creation time either in heaven or hell. But I'm going to do it as a new creature in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that is important for you to realize that you're brand new. The things you used to do, you aren't going to want to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kendall has given testimony on this program time and time again about what he used to do that no longer enters his life. He doesn't do that. Uh, We can both share things in our lives that changed when we accepted Jesus. Oh, yeah as our savior and made him lord of our lives and now make him lord of your life is an important step and that's for your responsibility what do you say in romans be not conformed this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that's yes. making him lord of your life that's, right. that's taking this intimacy with the godhead with jesus that you just had available to you mm-hmm. and making making it grow up making it progress mm-hmm. uh, god is a god of progressive revelation knowledge as kendall and i have said for a long mm-hmm. time and and that's true that's what we're talking about and and now uh, jesus has given you the way to do it and if you've done that get a hold of us the, the credits are there we have some little booklets that'll help you get started as a brand new creation mm-hmm. or creature mm-hmm. in your creation yeah. uh new species of being new species huh. and, new species and, uh, of being and and yes. I'm a firm believer that every church should have a class on discipleship for new people. Oh, yeah. Because you need to get solid transition to justification, I had to say it. There you go. Uh, You have to have that (laughs) to really get started and get a good foundation of what Christianity is really all about. It's not a religion. Mm -hmm. It's a way of living your life from here until Jesus comes and takes us out of here. And then we're just going to live even better. You'll never go from the child to the son or daughter. 
without it. They're like like uh, Galatians 4, without it. That's right. So you've got that's to right. grow. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Son and Absolutely. Well, they're again, uh, in Colossians, the Colossians 3, if you then be risen with Christ, Christ, seek those things which are above, above, not on things on the earth. Yep. Set your affection on those That's on those, those heavenly things. And, and it goes on like third and fourth, fifth verse yeah. to mortify therefore your members that yeah. are, you know, all the bad things. All these bad things. <laughs> yeah. you, you set apart the bad, you take mm -hmm. on the good, yeah. and, and you work at it, and, and the Spirit of God on the inside of you will help you. With you. Uh, and, and He will take you from from living your life to your to pleasing yourself to where you're living your life to please him. Yes. Uh, I guarantee he will. If he, could, he, if he could do it for me, and he did, he can do it for you. Amen. Me too. Me too. Amen. <laughs> he pro too. He's <laughs> promised in this That's book right. that he'll do it. And he did. Now we're going to go to Isaiah 28. <laughs> Isaiah 28. Okay. okay. You want to go there? 9 through 12. You guys yeah, have I, that I knew, memorized. I knew you were going to get us there sooner or later. Yes. Sooner or later you get there. He, he actually let us read his notes this time before we... <laughs> Got started. We actually got almost an outline out of that. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, I thought about doing that, but <laughs> I, I was working that way. <laughs> uh, in reference to what I'd said earlier about Kendall said about Adam and Eve and what they had it all, they uh, mm -hmm. they lost it. This doesn't work for us on resurrection on resurrection back to a relationship with God. It has to come step by step, precept by precept, revelation of truth. Each one we get brings us closer and closer to the perfection of intimacy mm -hmm. with the Godhead that God mm -hmm. really intended from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you want to read Isaiah? I asked guys, why are we going back to Isaiah 28 for this? And Jerry's going to answer that for us. Oh, I am. <laughs> Verse 9, whom shall I teach knowledge? Good question. Mm -hmm. And whom shall, I, whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Child, the son, or daughter. No, no longer under tutors and governors. I mean, you go back to that. Mm -hmm. Yep. For with stammering lips and another tongue will I speak to this people. Oh, I forgot one verse here. I forgot 10. Verse 10. <laughs> For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Talking about the word, of course. Absolutely, <laughs> all the precepts of God, all the all the the proverbs and all the things that are in this Bible, they all speak to man, to bring knowledge of God to them, so we can glean and learn and understand, just like it said in nine, the teaching, the doctrine. Okay, for with stammering lips and another tongue will I speak to this people. Oh, golly, we could go from there, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But you can't do 11 without 12. No, you got to read 12. To whom he said, this is the rest, speaking of the stammering lips and another tongue, will he speak to this people. This is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. Oh, boy. But the word of the Lord was unto them, precept upon precept, Line upon line, oh, precept upon precept, line upon line, uh, here a little, there a little, that they may might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken, because they couldn't stay with the word. Mm -hmm. the The Old Testament people mm -hmm. fell away. They they didn't have what we have. They don't. Yeah, they didn't have it, even though he spoke to them. But now, the stammering lips refers to other tongues, mm -hmm. another tongue. Mm -hmm. We have that available to us, mm -hmm. so we can glean all those things mm -hmm. that we can learn, mm -hmm. and and have that knowledge and the teaching from the Holy Spirit to for us to understand, and it helps us to understand. Now, people would ask me once in a while, how do you, how do you get how do you study the Bible? How do you do this? <laughs> how do you do that? Yeah, I say, well, I do something the Lord told me to do, and I said that makes sense to most people. But I pray in other tongues and read at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what He showed me to do, and that's how He showed me the line upon line, precept upon precept. I started seeing revelations out of a scripture that would just jump out at me, and I would I would understand immediately what He was talking about, and it just blew me away. But that's what He led me back to. Mm -hmm. So that's all again part of the intimacy, because. I'm not just talking about intimacy. This is something I started in 1978 when the yeah. Lord baptized me in the Holy Ghost. So, I mean, that is 
things I've learned all during this time I've always incorporated, I still go back to that very thing. Mm -hmm. That's where it started for me. In intimacy is not a new thing. No, it's, it's not, not a new doctrine. No. It's it's not something that that's been hidden from us. It hasn't been uh, taught much. It hasn't yeah. been taught. That's right. Well, that's why God had yeah. me yeah. start on this a year ago. Mm -hmm. Well, January of 2012, yeah. when we had prophecies about 2012, because <laughs> God, He wants His family as mature as they're willing to yeah. get before the rapture, before all these mm -hmm. other things happen in the world that yeah. we've heard prophesied and everything. And, and uh, I've asked him uh, why I've taught certain things at certain mm -hmm. times, and and sometimes he answers me, and sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes <laughs> it's just <laughs> just lets you stew a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah, he does. But uh, I just love it when he gives me something to do or asks me a question because I know he's mm -hmm. always going to give me a scripture answer for it. Yeah. And it's never failed that mm -hmm. when he's done that. Uh, that's mm -hmm. that's the result of this two, three pages of notes that uh, are written down here. Is, is <coughs> laying in bed mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. between five o'clock and seven o'clock one morning. I went through. He went through this with me, and then I said, "Well, bring it back to my remembrance so we can write it down. Mary can get it on the computer." <laughs> and that's that's what you guys are seeing here. Uh, <laughs> And and when he took me to this Isaiah, I says, I, I don't follow that, Lord, why that is in here <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, until we read it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it just, I mean, it's pretty plain when you read it. I don't know if the Amplified brings out any more of that, Kindle and that I don't scripture. Know I, I, I know really. it talks about the precept Isaiah. upon precept yeah, <clears throat> and that, but it's, uh, there's always a little nuance within the Inside Amplified, which, which brings light to the, yeah, open the to scripture yep. 28 9 10, 9 through 12 and you got to go to 12 you can't let, stop let, let me just go ahead and read it, it it's, go ahead. it's it's it, it, i think it'll be all right <clears throat> whom will he teach knowledge ask the drunkards <laughs> <laughs> and who will he make to understand the message yeah. those who are babies just weaned mm -hmm. from the milk and mm -hmm. taken from the breast is that what he thinks we are for it is his prophets repeating over and over, precept upon yeah. precept, precept upon precept, rule upon rule, rule mm -hmm. upon rule, here a little, there a little. No, but the Lord will teach the rebels in a more humbling way. By men with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people, says Isaiah, and mm -hmm. teach them his lessons. To these complaining Jews, the Lord had said, this is the true rest, the way of true comfort and happiness, that you shall give rest to the weary, and this is the true refreshing, mm -hmm. and yet they would not listen yeah, to his teaching. Yeah. <clears throat> we we was, have the same problem today. Yeah, he was talking in, in, to the drunkards mm -hmm. and those in pride, yeah. and, and that's what he was dealing with, mm -hmm. but it still applies that yeah. we have to glean yeah. those things. That's right, yeah. exactly. And so it, it's, that's important. And, and he was trying to teach them, <clears throat> and, and mm -hmm. those are some of the precepts that we, we go yeah, back we, to. He, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he progressed up through that and, and went down yeah. through it. Um, but he was rebuking the, the prophets that right. were Wrong. getting into the wine and, yeah. and prophesying out of their heads, you know. Yeah. And that's that's what he really was trying to correct. They were airing the vision and things, so, yeah, bringing about the worst. Because of the history so, of all this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have to work ourselves into it by doing what God told us to do mm -hmm. to get that intimacy. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to Philippians 3. Uh, Mm -hmm. oh, I this means that we have to seek out the truth <clears throat> and have it become part of us. Not just know it, but have part of us. Knowing is intimacy, but knowing isn't and isn't always understanding. Mm -hmm. So the understanding comes in the revelation knowledge of it. Mm -hmm. Working knowledge. Working knowledge. Yeah. Well, it becomes your possession. That's right. The more of this we get, the more intimate <coughs> we will become. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. not the end because I got another page. <laughs> but Philippians 3, uh, start in verse 8, and we want to go to 14 to start with, but especially look at verse 10 and 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me just go ahead and read it from the Amplified. Fire, go. Yeah, just we'll get, we'll do we'll that. We'll get over it. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. Yes, furthermore, I count everything as lost compared to the possession of the priceless privilege. 
the overwhelming preciousness, the surpassing yes. worth and supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, <laughs> and progressively Ooh, becoming boy. more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, mm -hmm. of perceiving and recognizing and understanding him more fully and clearly. Mm -hmm. For his sake I have lost everything and consider it to be mere rubbish, yes. refuse, dregs, in order that I may win Christ, the anointed one. And that I may actually be found and known as in him, not having any self-achieved righteousness that can be called my own, <laughs> yeah. based on my obedience to the law's demand, the ritualistic uprightness and supposed right standing <laughs> with God thus acquired, but possessing that genuine righteousness yes. which comes through faith in Christ, the anointed one, the truly right standing <laughs> with God, which comes from God by saving faith. For my determined purpose is that I may know him, yes. that I may progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of his person more strongly and more clearly, and that I may in that same way come to know the power outflowing from his resurrection, yes. which it exerts over believers, and that I may so share his sufferings as to be continually transformed in the spirit into his likeness yes. even to his death in the hope that if possibly i may attain to the spiritual and moral resurrection that lifts me yes. out from among the dead even while in the body yes <laughs> not that i have now attained this ideal or am already made perfect but i press on yes. to lay hold of and make my own that for which christ jesus the messiah hath laid hold of me yes. and to make me his own. Where, where 13, am I supposed 14, to stop? 14, yeah, 13, okay. 14. I do not consider, brethren, that I have captured and made it my own, yet but one thing I do. It is my one aspiration, mm -hmm. forgetting what lies behind and straining forward mm -hmm. to what lies ahead. <laughs> I press on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which God in Christ Jesus is calling us upward. No, well, let's stop there. I want to go back. Okay. Let's talk about <laughs> verse 10 and 12 again. <laughs> we only got three minutes, guys. We'll never make well, it. Well, let's we'll do that. <laughs> we'll have to do that next time. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can do this. Tune in to get, get into the next program. You're going to get some good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good stuff. Amen. Though. That just, is good. Just that, reading that, that just I mean, blows everything right into context and, and just encompasses everything we've talked about right. already. That's that's yeah. where we got yeah. a hold of what we got a hold of. Yeah. Um, <coughs> we took God's this book yeah. and we read it and we believed yeah. it. When it says that I can do these things, I can mm -hmm. do them. Yeah. When it says that that's what's mine, it's that's what's right. mine. If it says that, that God has is desiring to bring me to yeah. this place, mm -hmm. I believe that's where he's desiring to bring Amen. me, to a place where I walk in everything that he's yes. got for me. That's what I want to be. I Amen. want to be in his will yes. all the time. Amen. Walk in power. And authority, right? Because Amen. of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Amen. especially <laughs> yes. at this time, because because yes. we're in a time, uh, you know, a war, a war. We, we're we're coming up to the end of that. I mean, yeah. we've gone through from Genesis up up through to the New Covenant here, but but we we're in a time now mm -hmm. when if, if if you don't walk in this, yeah. you're in trouble. You're in trouble. That's right. That's right. In trouble. That's right. Definitely in trouble. That's the prophecies that were given to me January of this year for America mm -hmm. was everything we see happen last year. All the milestones we had mm -hmm. saw, saw happen mm -hmm. in, in 2012 are going to be happening this year, but they're going to be at a, a higher level than they were last year. But he said, precept on precept, which mm -hmm. is uh, judgment, judgment. But he said, it shall not come nigh my dwelling, the believer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't have to be concerned about it affecting us as believers, mm -hmm. but the ones out there that aren't believers, they're going to have to plow through it, live yeah. through it, and, and that's not going to be easy. So it it's really behooves, boy, I use your word, yeah, really right. behooves everybody to become a Christian and, and get hooked up with other believers uh, and mm -hmm. Because the believers need to stick together to to work through this thing, because that's yeah. where the spiritual warfare is won, yeah. Yeah. is with the believers exercising this word right here and the truths <laughs> of this word that we've learned and we learn to walk in them. Amen. Even though we get tested, we get tried. I mean, it doesn't. You're not no and void of that. The devil won't let up. He does not let yeah. up. 
and, and he don't sleep nights. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I want to encourage you to stick with our program. Learn whatever you can learn. And copy it and go back over it. And mm -hmm. we still got another one to go. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we've got a lot of them probably to go. Yeah. But well, <laughs> this, I mean, this particular in this session, setting, yeah. mm -hmm. this particular one more setting. in this session. Yeah. Huh? That's good, boy. That that's rich. <laughs> that's rich. That we're we're going to do it again because yeah. 